How do you feel about the fact that men are present at the childbirth of their wives? I think it's important and very brave of them. Today I'll tell you about Jeffrey, a guy whose presence at birth not only supported his girlfriend, but also prevented a terrible family catastrophe. Do you want to know which one? Watch this video till the end and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Enjoy watching! Jeffrey loves his girlfriend very much and wants to live with her for the rest of his life. Therefore, the news of her pregnancy lifted him to the seventh heaven with happiness. The guy was so happy that it seems that not just the whole district heard about it, but the whole city. It was time for the pregnant woman to give birth, and Jeffrey said that he would support her from the very beginning to the very end. He decided to hold her hand during the attempts and be the first to pick up his son. So this day has come. A guy rushes by car with a girl ready to give birth and screaming in pain. Hospital, ward. Jeffrey quickly puts on a medical gown and comes in with the woman in labor. He had been dreaming about this for nine months. To be present at the birth, cut the umbilical cord and be the first to pick up his baby. The birth lasted a long time, but finally, after a hard seven hours, Jeffrey still picks up his screaming son. He looks at this boy and cries. He has become a father. What a blessing it is! The nurses abruptly started whispering and fussing. They took his son away from him and took him away somewhere. Jeffrey was very worried and could not find a place for himself. He could not calm down in any way. Suddenly, a siren sounded all over the hospital. This ringing alarm meant that something had happened and everyone needed to leave the hospital building immediately. Jeffrey went out into the corridor and saw all the medical staff with children running out into the street. After a while, it turned out that it was a false alarm. Jeffrey demanded to be taken to his son immediately. When he was taken to the place where the newborns were sleeping, he went to the cradle where his son's name was written. He looked at this boy for a long time, but didn't take him in his arms, and immediately declared that this was not his son, and began demanding to give him his child. After Jeffrey went to look at the other children, and went up to one of the playpens immediately, took out a little boy, hugged him tightly, and began to cheerfully shout. Here he is my son. He argued that the nurses had confused the children, but they thought he was crazy or very worried, because they could not be wrong. The guards took Jeffrey outside and no longer let him into the department after that, as they believed that he could harm someone. At his word, of course, no one believed him, but Jeffrey can win of his rightness obtained permission for a genetic test to check paternity. And imagine, he was right. That second baby is really his son, and the one they wanted to give away has nothing to do with him. It turned out that the nurses confused the boys when the alarm sounded in the hospital. Panic and fuss began. Everyone was surprised, and this incident remained in the memory of many people. Do you think Jeffrey understood so clearly who his son was, because he was the first to pick him up, or is there something inside that connects parents with their children, that they can make a mistake and feel exactly where their child is, 